Hello, I'm Dr. Nahel Elias, the Surgical Director of the Kidney Transplant Program at Mass General. In this video, we will be reviewing the evaluation process for kidney transplant, the procedure, your hospital stay, and potential risks and complications. Before getting a kidney transplant, you will be evaluated by your care team, which includes your transplant surgeon. Transplant surgeons will assess your ability to tolerate the anesthesia and procedure by asking you questions about your health and looking at your heart, lungs, and other organs function. We also evaluate how well your vessels and bladder will be able to take the new kidney, discuss the possible risks during and after the transplant, and review some of the expectations after the transplant. The kidney transplant procedure lasts about three hours and is performed under general anesthesia or medicine that helps you fall asleep and feel relaxed. Once you are asleep, the surgeon creates a six to eight inch incision or cut in the lower stomach above the groin area. And the transplanted kidney is placed inside the hip bone where it will be connected to the iliac blood vessels. In this diagram, you can see these blood vessels. In red is the iliac artery, which supplies blood to the leg, while in blue is the iliac vein that brings blood back from the leg to the heart. These connections to the iliac artery and vein allow blood to flow in and out of the transplanted kidney, which is necessary for its survival and its function. We also connect the new kidney's ureter to your bladder the ureter is the tube that carries urine from the kidney to the bladder. Usually, transplant surgeons do not remove your own kidneys unless there is a reason to do so, like if there are concerning lesions. In the event the new kidney does not start working right away, you would start or continue dialysis for a short time. This typically lasts a few days to weeks until the transplanted kidney recovers and starts working. Like any surgery, there are possible risks and complications of kidney transplant. These include a minimal risk of bleeding, rarely requiring blood transfusion, infection, and fluid like blood, urine, or lymphatic fluid building up around the kidney. While rare, blood clots can form in the vessels of the transplanted kidney or in the legs and travel into the lungs. Blockage of the new kidney vessels is especially concerning because the kidney may never work if it loses its blood supply. However, a failed kidney is extremely rare. In the cases of bleeding, fluid buildup, and clots, a second operation may be needed to correct and improve the condition. Because of one of many roles of the kidneys is to help regulate the blood pressure, there is risk of developing high or low blood pressure or other heart conditions, like heart attacks or abnormal heart rhythm, these could be major and cause death of the recipient. For all these reasons, we monitor you very closely. Our team is very experienced and has some of the best outcomes nationwide. You are in great hands. Immunosuppression or anti-rejection medications are necessary but they lower your ability to fight infections. For this reason, there's an increased risk of infection either in the incision site, around the kidney, in the bloodstream, urine, or lungs. The quality of the transplanted kidney is based on the donor, their specific health conditions, and any associated risks. You could potentially get an infection from the donor if they had an infection before donating. However, this risk is very small because we test all donors very carefully before transplant. Lastly, every procedure carries a risk of pain or hernia, which happens when the muscle around the incision don't heal well enough. After your surgery, your hospital stay will be three days. This includes a few hours in the post-anesthesia care unit, also known as the PACU or the recovery room, immediately after the surgery, and the remainder in the transplant unit. 
On rare occasions, you may need to stay in the intensive care unit for a day or two if major complications happen. Immediately after surgery, you will have bandage or surgical glue covering your incision, intravenous catheter in your arms or neck to give you medications and fluid, and a catheter called a Foley in the bladder to drain the urine. Some patients may also need drainage tube around the kidney for a few days or a stent in the ureter for a few weeks. You will start immunosuppression medications intravenously immediately during the surgery and then transition to pills afterward. If your body's ability to fight the kidney is stronger than the medication we're giving you, that puts you at risk for kidney rejection. We will have to increase your immunosuppressants and carefully monitor you and your new kidney. You can start drinking liquids in the evening after the surgery or the next morning and start regular meals the next morning. We will encourage you to walk because it helps reducing the pain and speed up your recovery and healing. We also provide you pain medication as necessary to help you move. We will work closely with you to provide support and educate you on your care action plan. This is customized for you to help you with your recovery and show you how to take care of your new kidney, including when and how to take your medications. With us, you are in good hands. We wish you all the best in your transplant journey. Thank you.